I think it really is important to achieve um, an adequate or as good as possible dose intensity or dose adherence um, using a brutinib in such a patient. And the data supporting this comes from a post hoc analysis where we analyzed patients enrolled to the Resonate trial who were treated with a brutinib. The mean dose intensity, or another way to think of that is the, um, the dose given over the course of the trial, the dose adherence was 95% uh, for a brutinib, which I really think speaks volumes about the efficacy and the tolerability of the drug. Uh, but nonetheless, we compared patients who had a dose intensity above the mean and below the mean and found that those with the better dose intensity had an improved progression-free survival. So s suggesting that you really do need to stay on the drug to get the benefit. I do think it's important to point out that there are good reasons to hold a brutinib. Uh, severe side effects such as bleeding, um, planned surgical procedures, um, use of medications that interact with a brutinib. Those are all good reasons the drug should be held. But I think it's equally as important to return to full dose intensity, full dosing in a very timely manner.